Okay, hi. So, welcome to circuit three of my uh, SparkFun Electronics kit here. This time, we are going to uh, light up another LED, but this time it involves uh, an RGB LED. So, this light can display basically all the colors that you can like see on a monitor or on your television or anything like that. So, there's the three colors of LEDs in here, as opposed to, say, the one that we were using before, like this yellow guy here. We have individual colors, but not today. All the colors right in one. Uh, so for the rest of the kit we're gonna need six wires again and our breadboard uh, bread and breadboard as usual and this time we're going to use three resistors, uh, basically one for each color of the LED. So the uh, only thing you have to watch out for in this LED uh, let's see if you can see that here. So you can see there are four pins on this LED as opposed to the two uh, of the one color LED. So it's a little bit more complicated, but uh, the only problem you really have is just sticking it in. Um, it's labeled in the book. Uh, you can see that this, there's one long wire. That's the common ground. Uh, and then on this side, we've got the red and then blue over here and green next to it. So basically you just gotta insert it the right way to make sure that you're controlling the colors correctly. But uh, it's really not that hard. It's just trying to get all four into the four pins. You might have to spread them out a little or something. Uh, but uh, why don't we go ahead and build our circuit here. So I guess first I will try to stick in this uh, LED light here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see if I have any trouble. Oh. Yeah, that does not want to go in. So I'm just gonna spread these guys out a little bit. Make sure they get in the holes. Just like that. Oh, look at that. All right, so it's standing up nicely. And next I'll do the resistors. So like I said, one for each color. So we'll put these over here. That's for the red one. We'll skip the space for the ground and then we'll go to the next one. Oh, let me spread this out. That would be green. And then the last one is blue. Boom, so there's our resistors all set up. All right, so why don't we hook up the wiring for those. So I, as you can see, I have red, green, and blue wires. How convenient. So we're gonna put the red one in and match it up to the board. So on the board here, it goes on uh, this side. Uh, each one is going to have its own power uh, so that we can control the colors. So basically, if the power is on to a color, it'll be higher, uh, and then that will allow us to display that color. So why don't we just Hook them all right up. up here. Green comes next. Right below. And finally blue. Just like that. So there's our wiring for each of the LEDs. And then basically we have to set up the rest of the wiring. So we're going to do a wire for our ground of the uh, LED here. And we'll just simply hook that up here. Put that right there. And then of course, these two guys, just like we always do. One, two, and and 5 volt. Okay, so our circuit's set up there. We're gonna plug it in and let's load up the program. Here we are ready to install our program onto our Arduino board, but first we've got to load up our example. This time we're gonna do circuit three. So that pops open. And let's make it bigger and our program. So again, comments as usual. I'll just go over this quickly. So basically here we are saying that uh, the red pin is hooked up to number nine and green 10, blue 11. 
And then we have this display time here uh, set to 100 milliseconds. Okay, so these are what we declare before we even start the program. Now when we set up the program, we've just taken these values, 9, 10, and 11, and made sure that they're receiving the output from the board. Now when we get into our loop, you'll notice that this is mostly comments and is empty. And in our last two programs, there was some stuff here. Well, the only two things you have to worry about are this main colors and show spectrum. So what this loop is gonna do, it's gonna go through the main colors, and then it's gonna show the spectrum, and then it's gonna loop through those two things uh, each time it goes through. Now, what is main colors? Well, if you look a little further in the code, all right, this function main colors is called every time. So it goes through all these values. It's gonna show each uh, little color in turn. So it's gonna turn the LEDs off, make a red color, green color, uh, blue color with this delay in between. So we can actually see it for a little while. Okay, so what it does is it just creates the color by basically turning each pin on or off. So you can see red, the red one is on, and then the green and blue are off. And for something like yellow, uh, that's a combination of red and green, and then the blue is off. So it's gonna cycle through all those colors once, and then when we get to white, boom, it's gonna turn all three on, because that makes our white color, and then delay. Now, if you go back to our loop here, those are the main colors. So we cycle through all those. They're on for about one second each. And then we're gonna do this show spectrum. So what happens in show spectrum? We go down here. All right, woof, way down. Here we are, show spectrum. So the first thing it's gonna do, we have this uh, X variable. It's basically a number. We're gonna use this number to do another loop within the loop. So this is called a for loop. And a for loop basically is designed to loop uh, only a set number of times. So in our original loop on the uh, oof, way up here for our board, this void loop, this will execute continuously as long as the board is on. But our for loop, okay, down here, will actually only execute uh, the number of times we specified. So X is gonna start at zero, that's what it says here. And then each time we go through the loop, it's going to increase by one and it will increase by one until uh, it is no longer less than 768. So basically this loop is going to execute 768 times. So what does our loop do? Well, it shows RGB and then delays for 10 milliseconds. All right, so what does show RGB mean? Well, that's actually another function that's gonna be called, which is down here right at the end. So this code gets a little more intense, but basically what happens is uh, we're going to control the intensity of each of the red, blue, and green LED pins, and we're gonna cycle them up by a small value each time so that it actually continuously goes through the spectrum. So in the first part of the, our, our main loop, we had the values turning on for one second each. This one's gonna go much faster, so it appears that the, the LED is just cycling through all the colors, which is controlled by this little section of code here, which will basically control the amount of red, green, and blue in the LED, and then it'll write them out and allow the LED to display. So now that's gonna happen continuously. So we're gonna cycle through the colors for one second each, and then cycle through the spectrum, and then do that again, and that's going to be our loop. So let's compile this guy, and why don't we wait for that to finish before we upload it to our Arduino board. So. Let's take a look at our board and see how it goes. As you can see, uh, I've not got it working. Uh, I just made a small wiring error here, again, just like in my last one. It's pretty easy to make these wiring errors. You gotta follow the uh, instructions pretty closely. Anyways, I had the yellow wire here plugged into this side. It should be over here with the LED. So let me just try and scooch this in here. And pow, you can see that's lighting up right there, but I can't get this. All right. So, as you can see, here we are displaying each of the colors for one second each. All right, and let me pull that a little closer. Here we go. So, now it's cycling through. And there we go, back to one second each. So, that's it, that's our RGB LED, pretty easy. Uh, the control to show the spectrum can get a little complicated, but uh, don't worry about that for right now. I mean, you can figure it out. You just look at the code closely. 
Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.